All right, guys, we have JC Jackson here. So we'll get started with the first question from Mike Giardi. Hey, JC, how's things going? What's up, Mike? How you doing? I'm doing well. I'm doing well. I just, I'm, I'm curious. I know every game is a big game, but as you get later into the season, you keep winning, the games and the stakes go up. How big is this game for you on Monday night? I mean, it's a big game. It's, it's a divisional game for, for, for our team. So, I mean, I'm going to take it. I'm going to take it. I'm going to take it. How I've been taking it for the past, the whole season, like, my mentality never changed. It's, it's still the same. Go out and compete, dominate. What, what are your thoughts on Stefan Diggs? You saw him obviously some last year uh, up close and personal. Um, what did you learn from that, and what have you seen from him this year? Man, I mean, you, you, everybody know Diggs, man. Diggs one of the best receivers in the game, one, one of the toughest matchups that I've been against since I've been in the league. So I'm looking forward to it. Um, I'm ready to compete, and we'll see. We'll see Monday night. Thanks, JC. Next question, Doug Kide. Hey, JC, how's it going? What's up, Doug? Doing well. Uh, Matt Judon was pretty complimentary of the has been pretty complimentary of the secondary all season, saying that you know a lot of his sacks were covered sacks. How much has the pass rush been helping you in the secondary come away with some of those interceptions? I mean, when you got a good pass rush playing D D DB, I mean, that helps you out a lot. I mean, the quarterback don't have much time to sit in the pocket. He got to make a quick decision. And sometimes those quick decisions can lead to mistakes and disrupt the plays on defense. So I want to thank my, my – I want to give – I want to shout the whole front seven, the D-line. I want to shout out to all those boys. They They have been – they have been they have been after the quarterback all year. So those interceptions don't come just off me doing it by myself. I want to give thanks to those guys up front. For sure. Belichick said or Coach Belichick said after the game that uh, if you leave any trash laying around that that you're gonna pick it up. Well, what did you kind of make of that statement from Belichick? What did I what? How did I take that? Yeah. I mean I mean, you can't make no mistakes around me, man. You can't make no mistakes. That's how, that's how I look at it. What, what is it about your game that allows you to get so many interceptions? I mean, I think you've got 26, including the playoffs now in your career. Obviously, a ton last season, ton, a ton already this season. So what is it about your game that's just allowing you to force so many turnovers? I would say the biggest thing, the biggest strength I have is ball skills. Which, help, which helps me, like, catch a lot of picks. And, man, my hands, these hands are amazing. So that, that's what I would say. My, that's my biggest thing. I have great ball skills. What do you, you think? Know? Yeah. Sorry, what, what was that? No, go ahead. Go ahead. Do you think you, you've, you've proven anything more this season than you had in years past? Because, obviously, Stefan's not around anymore. You guys are running a little bit more zone coverage this season. Do you feel like you, you've personally proven anything more this year? Yes, of course. I mean, I mean this this league this lead is based off performance each and every year, and I feel like I have I have bought my bought my performance performance up a notch this year because of the the, the time I put in studying. Um, watching watching extra film, doing work before practice. I mean, all 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 that is paying off for me. And you see the results on Sundays or Mondays. Do you think that over the course of your career you've become, I guess, more of a, a cerebral player? Then, What's, what what do that mean? Basically, just like, like become a smarter player, like like right. study I'm, a little bit more. Yeah, like I'm like you. I mean, this year four for me, like. You gotta, I gotta treat like this is my job. So you gotta do all the little things, man. Like I'm more comfortable now. Like the game slowed down for me, so I'm able to make more plays and react faster. Thanks a lot, JC. And next question, Chris Ryan. Hey, JC, how are you? What's up, Chris? How you doing? Good. What is your mentality in regard to creating turnovers? Because obviously, there's the, the the picks, but 
you know, obviously that strip that you had uh, making a play you know, to break up a touchdown, get the strip on that on that play back in the Titans game. What do you what do you look for, and how much do you thinking about creating a turnover? Just about you know in every circumstance. I can't really hear you. You was breaking up a little bit. Can you repeat that? Yeah, just like. What is your mindset in regard to trying to create turnovers and how important that is in the game? I mean, we as a defense, I mean, that's what that's what good defenses do, man. Like you create turnovers, man. That's how you win games. So that's that's really all, man. Like I'm a defensive player, like create turnovers, force fumbles, INTs. All that can, all that helps the team win. So that's my mentality. Like we, like I work on that every day, stripping the ball, catching picks. It's 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 a habit. All right. And what point did you say you wanted to be? You know, the best DB in the game. If that was, but what point did you step up and wanted to do? Say it again. You static. Can can you say it again? Oh no worries. No worries. I'll, I'll, Sorry, Chris, we couldn't really hear you there. But that's it for today for JC. So thank you very much, JC.